I accept the user agreement that I did not read. Okay. Let's start with three. Or two? Two or three. It's loud AF. No time, Keeney, no time. You want me to read it? Two is great. Spooky's like, two is great. Yeah, two. You're skipping? <laughs> no, I'm trolling, Hatch. I trolled you so much today. <laughs> Have a great day. Or a great night. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now you know how Caleb feels. Mass effect! Massive effectiveness on my trolling. Start new career. Ooh. Welcome Let's see. To Alliance Military <gasps> wow. Classified information requested. Yes. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. John Shepard, Jane Shepard. Oh, you can't see her face right now. Okay, I'll move it just for now. Um, enter new ID. Right? Always play all games backwards. That's what I was thinking. Custom. Custom female. Right? First name? What should her name be? Sandwich? Need help, chat. Pineapple. Same. Saturday. <laughs> Troll. Howard. I love Howard. Hi, Ramon. Oh my gosh. You don't have to say sorry. I hope that your life is going well. You're very sweet. Chloe. I'm thinking if her hair is red, then what if I go with like autumn? Or something. <sighs> Barb Caleb. Something red. Ruby. Autumn. Strawberry. <gasps> Wait, what if her name is Strawberry? Wait, Hammy, I kind of love that. Strawberry. Rumpelstiltskin is a good one. I kind of like strawberry. Strawberry Shepherd. In to access your profile. Okay, accept. Almost a year. Time Warning. does Data fly. corruption detected. Please Why? reconstruct profile. Huh? Confirm pre-service history. Okay, spacer. Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Colonist, you were born and raised on Mindwar, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwar, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing Alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military a few years later. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. Megatrop... Wait. Metropolis. Megatropolises? Mega... Megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. So I'm thinking colonist when you're 16. No, I don't want to be in the military. No, I don't want to be that. I want to be an orphan. I want to be an orphan. 
I want to be an Earthborn. Confirm psychological profile. Psychological profile. Sole survivor during your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have been broke that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. Thank you all for the hype train. I got an emote. I got a puppy. I got a puppy. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. War hero, early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you, but when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. So I'm thinking war hero, because I think that's interesting with the Earthborn. Cardboard, hello, good to see you. I actually don't think that I can um, change her face, right? Because the orphan thing is like she's already alone. So I don't want to reinforce that with soul survivors. So I'm going to go war hero. Confirm military specialization. Oh, shit. Soldier, soldiers are combat specialists ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Soldiers have improved health, can specialize in the use of all weapon types, start with the ability to wear medium armor, and can train in the use of heavy armor. Engineers are, are tech specialists. S tech specialists using the holographic omni tool they can decrypt security systems repair or modify technical equipment disrupt enemy weapons or shields and heal their squad engineers can only wear light armor and they specialize in pistols no i don't think i want to do that oh oh my god how is ikea nick Ad adept adepts are biotic specialists through un upgradable implants they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects shield the squad and disable or destroy enemies adepts can only wear light armor and they specialize in pistols she is sparkling but infiltrators infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies, though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. Vanguards are biotic warriors. They combine, combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short range. They specialize in pistols and shotguns and wear medium armor. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Um, oh, I'm so glad that you got them, cardboard. I hope they love them. I'm thinking either Vanguard... I think I'm gonna do this. Doors, hello. You're so sweet. That's so sweet. Um, I just wanna be girl. This is strawberry. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Is this the wrong thing? Oh, you got your stickers, yay. I'm so glad. If this is like too hard, you know what? No, this is what I want to do. I want to have both. Right? And now... Confirm facial identification. Change appearance. Okay, here we go. <gasps> cute! She's so cute! Okay. Facial structure. Oh my god, we're gonna... Oh, wait! Her hair is doesn't have to be red. 
I like the scar. I love a good eyebrow scar. Okay, look this way, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> okay, look. Over here, say cheese. Um, that's pretty cute. Like that. Can she be like a purple or something? Yeah, I want both. Like, I would love to do both. Let's make her pale like me. Let's make her pale like me. Oh, through dish. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I think I'll love it. Not too pale. Is she an alien? I don't think so. <gasps> Ooh, we can give her... We can either let her have freckles. She's gonna be hot. She's gonna be really pretty. Um, Shin, if you're still here, I'm loving Lucifer. We're almost done with season one. I love it so much. I will literally out loud say, oh, cute. I will be like, oh, I love him. I love him so much more now. I love, I love Lucifer and I love him and Chloe together. Oh, I'm really like, I think she's really cute. I'm liking her a lot. Lucifer is so good. Your size. I can't see. Medium? Boss luck. <laughs> It's so good, and I'm just like, ah, I haven't. I don't want her cheekbones to be like that. No, cheek gone. I want a little bit chubbier cheeks. That's too, yeah, no. I want her to be, I want to be her to be soft. Yeah, she's so cute. I love her. Well, if we start with this, I like that. I like the kind of smaller eyes. I can get really, really, really into character creation, so I'm sorry in advance, but also look how cute she is, so I'm not going to even apologize. Brow depth. I agree, Hayes. She looks a little ugly. That's so rude, Dark. What's your problem? She's cute. Do you not? You don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> you don't have a girlfriend. If you think she's ugly, you don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> oh my god. No, I haven't seen the killing. I'll look into it. Is it new? I chuckled too hard at that. I don't give a shit. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Ooh. Oh. Zach! Hello! Zach, thank you for the ray! 22, that's my luckle, luckle number! Hi, Vic! Hi, my. Hi, Vanya. She's really cute. Dream Daddy? Oh, how did that go? <laughs> Actually, I'm really sad I missed that. So, guys, I'm thinking if her name is Strawberry, well, it depends on what color her hair is going to be, but I'm loving the different, the more unique colors. I've played, I've played Dream Daddy. <laughs> Let's just say it. I've played Dream Daddy. 
in my life. Maybe once or twice. <laughs> so I like this one a lot, but it just depends on what we go with her. She's so cute. Oh my god. Hi, Lilies! It was fun. I won't even lie. I'm so... I have to watch the VOD. Y'all, if you don't follow Zach, you really should. You really, really should. He's awesome. He's funny, and he's chaotic, and he's cool, and he has a cat. She's reminding you of someone? Um, I think, didn't I end up going with like the vampire one or like the, it was weird. And also it, I, I just, I need to play it more genuinely cause I was playing it jokingly. And so we ended up in the vampire's house. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I like that mouth. I like that one too. This one or that one. I like that one. Meme versus reality. Dream, daddy, who's gonna be your dream? Dream, daddy, who's gonna be your dream? I like a little button nose. I like a little button nose. Yeah. Cute. She's cute. She's so cute. Okay, so here's our issue. What color are we gonna make her? Ooh! <gasps> oh my God, I love that one. No, I haven't watched Supernatural, but I really want to. I'm feeling the purpley, purpley red. Jody Mills. I don't want her to look like anyone. This one's my favorite so far. That's cute. Thank you for the lurk, Vic. Wow, Caleb! Tier two! Wait, Caleb, what the hell? I was gonna gift you a lifetime sub! I can't believe I've known you a whole 17 months. <laughs> Not this. I know I forgot, Caleb. <laughs> ah, jeez. Thank you so much for the tier two resub. Regardless, it's been a great 17 months of knowing you. Drob, thank you for the brand new sub. I appreciate you. Welcome to the mage sub family where I indecisively don't know what hair to give my character. Um, also, I want to change her. I actually really like this, but... uh. I like this one. Hi, Darren. 
Uh, how do I make, like, the face... Oh, no. Did I mess everything up? Oh, that's cute. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. So many subs. I think I messed up my hole. Maybe not. Hi, Lucy. Thank you so much for the two-month race. <laughs> it's a sub party. Oh my gosh, Darren, thank you for the five months. I appreciate you. Thank you. Maybe it's cheek width. Well, I changed. Hey, best. Oh my hey, god. Bestie. Wait, what is this, guys? What is coil twitch bot? Thank you for the hundred bits, but what is that? Who is doing that? Because I feel like someone signed me up for that. <laughs> I have no idea. Darren! Oh, God. Darren, thank you so much for gifting us up to the community. I appreciate you. Thank you. Oh my god, my wallet slipped. Go pick it up, Darren. Thank you. I appreciate you. I am low-key loving the lashes. But I want maybe I can do the eyes that I like. They're not big enough. Those eyes are not big enough. Okay, Hammy. Have fun. For me. Well, they're all like that. I mean, she's so cute. Like, look at those lashes. But I might be able to achieve that. Also, I miss her chubby cheeks. Oops. Strawberry has to have red cheeks. She gotta have some red cheeks. <gasps> oh my god. Look at her. Look at Strawberry. Look at Strawberry. That like matches her hair exactly. Well, not exactly. I don't want it to be too distracting. Strawberry fields forever. I might just go with some gloss. And like some dark eye makeup. You know what I mean? Like black. Ooh, she just has an eyeliner on. Hi, Bradley. She is a queen. Okay, chat, feel free to chime in. I'm torn on both her eyes and her hair. I like that one. Um, I'm torn between this one and this one. Look over here. Okay, wait, I kind of love those eyes. Which ones? Pineapple. Not this one, Shin. First. I like those eyes.
Yeah, I think she's just really sassy. The dark eyes. Dark eyes are so striking. And then green or blue. Yes. Okay, Rob. Thank you for lurking. I hope your work things go well. Green or blue? She's so sassy. Green, blue. Oh, no. Green, green. Light green? Dark green? I like this. I like this, this purpley hair, though. I'm really obsessed with this hair. Light green or dark green? Dark? Oh, no. Dark. Or there's one in the middle that's like... <sighs> How about we go with the one in the... Uh... Yeah, like the one in the middle. I'm going blind. Okay. Um... Or do we like the... Do we like the eyeshadow or just the eyeliner? I feel like... Um, do we want this dramatic one? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm asking so many questions, but I don't want regrets. I do not want to have regrets. This one's very sassy. I actually don't like the way that this looks when she looks up. So wait, let's see. Yeah, I like this. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Or this one. Or this one. You know what? I don't think I'll be upset that she looks like she has so much makeup on. <gasps> Ooh. If she's gonna be this beautiful, we got to give her some interesting scars. So that's two. That's one on her cheek and then one on her mouth. Keep in mind, she grew up as an orphan. Okay. I love the eyebrow scar, though. But I definitely want to give her... Miriam, hello! I'm great, how are you? If you have any preferences, let me know. The eyebrow scar is so good. This one's like intense. Like, I feel like this one is just too, sm it's too lil for me. Like, I want it if she's going to be, <sighs> I don't know. The scar under her eye. Here are the ones I'm deciding between. Eyebrow scar and the chin one. Yeah, so there's this one. That I like. Psychological. I did War Hero. War Hero and Earthborn. I like this one too. But I don't understand how they get scars on their mouth. I like this one's shin too. There's just no eyebrow scar. And this one is just like dramatic because it looks real it looks sad yeah this looks like she just did it herself hi Kiko good to see you I will take any hi Marissa thank you I worked really hard on her I'll take any recommendations any opinions I like this one I think it's just super dramatic and actually looks real and sad. 
I do like this one. I like this one. I like this one. On the right or on the left? Yeah, those three. Under eye scar and eyebrow slit. Under eye scar. This one? This one's chin. I want it to make sense with her background. And like, I just feel like she's wearing makeup. She's got this pretty hair. Um. So like, for instance, if we do this, that goes with, it makes her look more, she just has to be. I know it's too many it's too many options. Wait, brow color. Oh, brows. We didn't even look at these. I definitely want them to be fierce though. <gasps> I like those. So, do your opinions change when you see my new brows? How beautiful is that? And I think I want to give her kind of like <laughs> similar color brows just because like but I like it a little bit darker yeah like what about that yeah so do you still like the slit y'all with that kind of scar, because I think she looks too perfect otherwise. I'm going between this one and this one. Let me know. A or B? A or B? Vote. Vote now. I can't handle this. You guys like this one? This, you know what? I was drawn to this one, so I think I might go with it. This was B, right? Wait, this one was B. Hi, Venetius. Yeah, I spent um, an hour in character creation. I, yeah, I was drawn to this one, so we're gonna go with this one. I think because she's so pretty and she has like beautiful hair that's perfect and like her eyebrows are perfect and her makeup. She's gotta have something that makes her more real and nuanced and sad. I love her. I'm obsessed. <gasps> Look at her. Look at Strawberry. I love her so much. I burped. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so class, Vanguard, Reputation, War Hero. Confirm wait, 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 wait. Facial identification. Um, one second. <laughs> Sorry. I might want her lips a little bit darker. What if I did black? It just doesn't really match her hair. I don't like that. Black or the one that I did? You know what? No, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Megan, leave it. Yeah, I like the one before too. London, hello. How are you?
I'm confused. I don't remember which one I did. I think it was this one. London! Profile reconstruction complete. Confirm facial identification. <gasps> oh, shit. Confirm, that scared me. Confirm military specialization. Military specialized. Confirm yeah, she's an orphan. She is. Oh my god, I love her. Look at her. Hi, shiny. Yeah, call me Shepherd. Strawberry Shepherd. I like Profile it. Some alliteration. Construction complete. Okay. I'm so excited. Yeah. Look at her. I'm so excited. Confirmed. Combat difficulty, normal. Auto level up. Points must be man manually assigned using the squad sc screen every time Shepard or any. Yeah, that's fine. Right? On or off. Level scaling, legendary. Yes, you did, London! Um, I'm just gonna do off because I feel like that's the better idea. Okay. It might be annoying and I might need reminders, but, you know. Better than they put it for me. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for herself. Mm hmm mm hmm She proved herself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. <gasps> She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. Aww. I'll make the call. We love her. In the year 2148, Explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization in the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the favors. Okay. Gotta be quicker than that. The Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Look at her butt. Is that really Seth Green? Is that really Seth Green? Aww, strawberry. She's so pretty! Approach run has begun. Hitting the relay in three. It totally two, is him. One. Whoa. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal That's emissions Seth. sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. <laughs> Got the chowder. 
<laughs> and they don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. I know he's cute. Yes, key code it is. I just want Chris Griffin doing checks one time. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Oh, this is so fun. Oh my god, look how cute she is. I literally made the cutest person. Um, I'm liking it so far, Becca. We just started, but Kaden. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Okay, I want to talk to you guys. Look how sexy I am in my jumpsuit. Who are you? You're not as sexy as me. None of you are as sexy as Strawberry. I'm the hottest of them all. I got boobies. I got a butt. I got muscles. He wants to look at me in my suit. I love her chonky cheeks. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Just do your job. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do I've is I've never test played this key code. System, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false... I like her voice. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. It's such cool music. Hi, Trisha. I can't talk to them. Why? It's not the kind of place Spectre's visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. 
the captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take... What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely Hi, hope Jim. you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. She's so We've been pretty. trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. Come on, so Spectres. Far, hasn't happened. What you got against humans? Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. Ah. You're a war hero, right? Yeah. Pull off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed. Mm -hmm, That's did. the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. Yes, this exactly. This is just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could I love her the eyes. status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. How do you control agents with oops, unlimited oops, sorry. power? I suppose the sorry, sorry, sorry. The Spectre's police. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Thank you. Look at them saluting me. Ooh, I'm fancy. Hi. Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It'll what a is to talk. he? What about? I'm Hi, interested JRK. in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, He has safe. two voices. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. No, 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 A research no. team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. You gotta tell me. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. Mm, 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 mm. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate. Oh, shit. I don't like tests. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. 
We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, mm, it shows how far they are. Okay. I'll you do held it. off an enemy assault during the Blitz single handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. Yes, That's why I, I did. put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. <gasps> why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy. And I marry and him. And to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find I an like individual with skills I like him. I like him. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the I first to I can show you my skills. Together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. I can Secure show the you beacon my and skills. Get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Okay. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Uh-oh. He's kind of sexy, a little bit foin. Get down! Ashley. What's going on? We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. Uh-oh. We can't. They came out of nowhere. We need rest in peace. Shit. Oh no, what's that? Alien. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. It's a clock. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. Like, a small um, strike arrival. Team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure. Squid like arrival. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Nihilus got a booty too. Okay, you're just sacrificing me to the claw? What's your problem? Engaging stealth systems. No. No respect for strawberry. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Okay. So you want me to... Ooh! Okay. Damn! Um... What did I get?
This looks so good. Wait, does anyone know when Mass Effect was released? I have to... Handle their weapons. Hi, Dio. 2007. Wow. She's so pretty. I love her. No way. Actually, don't think those are bad. Smells like smoke and death. Oh no, Richard! No, Richard! No. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, ma'am. Sorry, guys. I just want to make sure it's like you can hear that what they're saying because it's a little loud. F. I didn't get much time with him at all. Metagel is needed to heal injured. I pass? Wait. Okay, so where is that? I thought he was dead. I don't think I needed to do that, though. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Oops. Squad. The squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Okay. Um. I have three points. Hello, Pro Ninja. I'm good. How are you? I don't. I didn't. Oh, shoo boo No helmet. <laughs> I want some charm. Thank you. Pistol and shotgun damage. Oh, I wanted to add it to charm. No, no, no. This. 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 It's not Friday, not yet, almost. Uh, and then, how do I? I'm gonna give him barrier. Okay. First aid. That's good. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, sexy. No helmets for anyone. <laughs> okay, so did that actually, yes. <gasps> yeah! I'm excited, Bradley. Also, are these... Enemies or no? These things? I feel bad if they're not enemies.
They're docile. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, Dio, that's sweet. Hi, Alaskan. Yes, we're starting it. I hope that things chill out for you soon, Dio. This is definitely, I know it's remastered, but it's looking amazing. Hey, I don't have a helmet on. Ooh. Oh, that's not me. That's um Ashley. What are they doing? Um. Oh no. Oh my god. I'm here to help you. I can't run. He died. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. <laughs> you abandoned them? Why would she say that? This isn't your fault, oh Williams. My God. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, Jesus. We held our position as long as we could until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Have you seen a Turian specter? Yeah, where is he? There aren't any Turians on either. If Nihilus dies, I'm I'm not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a specter anyway. Going to ban all of you. This guy you'd know <laughs> carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. That's so rude. Move out. Move out, bitch. Why don't you like Turians? Oh, I have to... Okay. I can do that. Hoggle helmet. Yeah, I want to see that. So, I'm going to give you... Yes. All of this. Oh, this is so cool. Wait, wait, wait. Press options to access the mission computer, then select the equipment. Oh, equipment. Equipment! Oh my god, so cool. Assault rifle. And let's... No, I can't. Shotgun! That's Ashley. OMG. Seriously? Well, I don't like her, so maybe I will be mean to her. Maybe I will be mean to her. Because I don't like her. I don't think I have any... Upgrades? So... Let's just see what they have. I'm gonna go and give her... 
Um, let's go and give her a shotgun so she gets up there and then takes all of the damage. Haha. <laughs> so she dies quicker. Oh, I don't know if this actually... I think I have to do it here. Switching, switching. So... How do I move in here? Oh, here. So this is me. I have this. I would like... What's the Avenger? You have your Kessler. You have your Lancer, but I don't know what this is. Okay, cool. Hi, Dylan. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm really liking it so far. No, I don't want that. No, no, no. I think this is a shotgun. Uh, so let's just do... That's fine. Run to the waypoint. To take cover behind the rock. I'm getting a rock. Oh, there, it's a hold X. Oh, hi. Oh my god, hi guys. What was that music? I created my character, yes. Her name is Strawberry. This is the dig site. We love the her. was right here, it must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Ooh. Oh, I have to choose. I thought I got all of them. Frick. Oops. I literally thought that if I pressed X, I got all of them, but I only get one. Ha ha! Ha ha ha. Yeah, we spent a long time with the scar. <sighs> Camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. This, why they gotta impale like this? That's not very nice. Oh god, they're still alive. Oh no. What did the Geth do to them? Oh no, oh no. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh, you killed him? Okay. Alright. Do I have ammo? I don't think so, right? Pineapple. Door control? It must take a few hours for the spikes to turn people into husks. Heavy armor. Yeah, so I can choose. I think I... I don't know if I can do heavy armor. Oh, yeah. In Skyrim? Oh, my God. It takes me forever. Dragon Age Inquisition took me, like, five hours. Literally. Some locked objects require decryption or electronics to access. Ooh, okay. Why? Oh, because I'm not an engineer? So, how do I get them to do it? Insufficient. It smells like smoke and death. I don't think they have the skills. Lentil! Your weapon can overheat. Ooh. 
Hi, Scorpio. Good to see you. Oh, well, I guess I'm going this way. <gasps> Nihilus! Be safe, please. Sarah? Sarah? I thought it was down, 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 to down, da da da. I thought the fan of the bound of bound of shell. What are you doing here? The council thought you could use some help on this one. <gasps> uh oh. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <gasps> Run! <laughs> Fuck it. <gasps> No, guys, I'm banning every single one of you. What is that? Off in the distance. Oh my god. I don't remember how to Oops. Um, let's do this one. Oh, wow. Not in the middle of a fight. Okay, I just wanted to say hello, Ashley. Coward. What are you doing sneaking around back there? <laughs> I, I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. Are the you fucking kidding me? He was no, he didn't. No, he out. didn't. There's no way. He, he called him Saren. There's no way. I, I think they knew each other. Your friends seem to relax. No way. He let his guard down, and Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. No. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform, probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. Where's that damn mothership showed up? And the attack? They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Hey, Faye. Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? How you doing? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through. <laughs> I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab points where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Attack? Oh, oh, yeah. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead. Just Honestly, the same, dude. Yeah. The most relatable yeah, character in the series. I don't really want to think about it. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Oh my god, he's just dead? Like, I can't even deal with this. Oh, seriously? Sorry, guys. Um, let's do... I literally don't even know. Hey, guys. You have to kill these things. Ha! 
How do I heal? Pineapple? I forget. How do I heal? Hi, Batmans. I don't know what that means because this is my first playthrough. So I have no clue. I'm just going with my instincts. Power wheel. Use R to aim at a target. Oh. Okay. I don't know what I just did. You sat. Oh, he can do stuff. So can you. Oh, wow. I don't know what that is. Oh, do I have to get over? I'm on a PlayStation controller. Oh, cool. Left face button square. Okay. Oh. I just threw something. Triangle! On the top. Megs mods have got it going on. Megs mods have got it going on. What are we hitting? Okay, wait, so, wait, I have a shaboo boo boo I'm trying out all the weapons. see him hello oh wow Heal me. Like, why do I gotta use all my meta gel? I thought you were a healer. Wait, what do you mean, Owl? Is it. Okay, well, we'll see. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Dude, I swear you killed my bestie. I can't believe it. F you. <gasps> Wait. Oh, no, that's not Nihilus. I'm in denial. I don't think he's dead. What is that? Ain't no button fucking with my click, 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 click. Ain't nobody fresher than my motherfucking click, 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 click. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. You go shut them down. You shut them down, not just me, idiots. I swear, I do everything around here.
fish with the light. Oh, like in the deep ocean? Oh my god. Okay, great. And then I have to go up here to disarm this one. Hey, is that a barrier that he made? Dude, what? <gasps> I perished. I perished. I don't know what I just did. I don't know what I pressed. I wasn't paying attention to her health. <laughs> just like Nihilus. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planned. Okay, okay, okay. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Strawberry got made it to jam. Not this. <laughs> Not this. I'm gaining experience. You look cute, Strawberry, but... Um, I don't, I mean, this is powerful, but I don't know about the effectiveness. Okay, just re-equip it. the other one. Guys, where is he? Where? Okay. You in your butt. I'll get you in your butt. I'm an overachiever. I thought I thought I had to do to do that way way faster, but I don't. But I don't. Okay. Where's that fucker that killed my, that killed my friend? Oh, 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 uh, 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 uh. Looks like a zombie. Easy. Let's see if this works. I don't know if it will, though. <laughs> Look, I didn't choose engineer, okay? I did not choose engineer. I didn't want to be a freaking engineer. I wanted to be cooler and more badass than that. 
Can I kill Ashley? Flemings grab some popcorn. Oh, this is strawberry. I created her myself. Strawberry Shepherd. I think she's beautiful. Yeah, we watched it, Noctu. We watched it. Um, at Norman, the beginning of stream. Beginning Looks so good. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. Have you played this, Ren? Anything like that when they dug it up. Also, go rest if you need. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. He do be kind of cute, though. And also, not to, about the tight suits. They all have tight suits, so I'm like, I like it. Oh, bye. <laughs> bye, have fun. Oh. Oh, No, don't touch Uh oh. What the F just happened to me? I'm getting Inquisition vibes. Um, um, Kaden, get back. I'm the protagonist here. That's so Meg. I'm the main character. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Boobies. Anderson. They managed to save the car and the beacon. One of the humans may have used boobs. Oh, dude. This human okay. must be eliminated. What? <laughs> okay. Kinky. She can do better. I don't like Sarah. I don't know. That could have been Doctor Stream Doctor Elements Auto Mod. Not us. Look how silky her hair looks. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About fifteen hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. <laughs> you were careless. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. Mm. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated <gasps> with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Oh, no. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. I don't want her on my ship. <laughs> I'm the captain of this ship, Commander. And I want Williams on our crew. <laughs> I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Good night, Take Ren. You did a good job, Shepard. 
You said you needed to see me. Thank you so much for the raid again. You're so sweet. I really like you and your community. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed. I can't believe Nihilus died. What the hell? There's no way. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the council can see that. You literally sent me in. You're a damned hero in my books. Okay, That's good. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. Mm. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. Pacific, but hello. Has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision. She's so cute. A vision of what? Hey, huge. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <laughs> what are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. Did that post this on YouTube, Pacific? War. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. Mm. That's why we need the council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador. And yes, see if can get good us idea, audience. Strawberry. He'll want Thank to see us as soon as we Pacific. reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay, back on the ship. We saw a green thing. There was a vision. I'm low-key a little nervous for Strawberry, but hopefully it just makes me more powerful. Glad to see you're okay. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing death. When do I get to, like, right be romantically involved with people? Stop Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. When do Our I get Marines, to flirt with people? together. I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Already? Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. Aww. Been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Thank First you, Kaden. I appreciate that. Kaden is hot. He's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. Oh, Long he's a biotic. Sure totally okay. Documented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Pacific, I that's so sweet. So is that why you're here? Because of your family? Um. I never met my parents. Aww. If they wanted to see me, they'd have contacted me after that mess a few years back. Oh, that's right, the Blitz. I'm an orphan, though. I you any posts in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? The captain hopes the ambassador can get I don't know if I'm council. supposed to tell them what say Sarah's this. Been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Okay, Caden, love you, bye. I don't want to be tied down to anyone. Like, I want to flirt and flirt and flirt. No, he's not a robot. 
Pineapple in regards to romance. Is it not this game? I'll cry. What am I looking at? What manual? This? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, Keeney, I just remembered what you said. It's so true. Humans are jerks, and this is pretty accurate, so. We'll see. Joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. So okay, thanks, Jen. Thank you. Thanks, Lemmings. Detective voice, yeah. <gasps> Pretty! Purple sky! Shut the fuck up, Ashley. Sorry. The Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Strangler, strawberry, strangle Ashley. Firepower too. I'm gonna get the bad ending because of my pettiness. The barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing is on our side then. Citadel control. This is okay. I kind of love this character, and I want to romance the Joker. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Yes, exactly, Tower. Pacific. So many hot Alliance people. Tower. Except Ashley. Unless I do an enemies to lover arc with Ashley. That's also. Look, okay, I just want to romance everyone. <laughs> I just want to romance everyone. <laughs> It's just people have disliked Ashley. Well, Shin, if it's true that people dislike her and she gets worse, guess what? Um, this is what happens with me. I know when people this are bad. Outrage! The council would step in if the.